Hello everyone, my name is Chitendra Bafna. I am a senior solution architect. In this video, we are going to see how to expose a API to Flex Gateway. So basically, I have already created a three API and I want to enable the API management capability on the top of those API. So basically, I have an employee API, I have an order API, I have a some health API. So employee API and the order API, those APIs are written in the mule shop and I have one Node.js health API. So let me show those API. So basically, uh, I get this particular response from my employee API. I get this particular response from my orders API and I got this particular response from my health API. So I have a three API running in the different container on different port numbers. So where my employees API are running on the port 9000, my orders API is running on the container port 9002 and my health API is running on the container port 9003. The other thing, basically, like uh, I have these two MuleSwap API uh, or two uh, two container where my MuleSwap API is running, and those both container ha has been registered into any point platform. You can see that. So I have already registered both uh, container into my any point platform, and you can see they. I have order API running in the employee server. This is nothing. This is the employee container. I have order API which is running in the order container, right? Now I need to publish all these APIs to my flex gateway so in last video we you have seen like we have already created a, a flex gateway with the two replicas one replica is running on port 8081 and this replica transferred the traffic to the application running on port 8081 i have a other replica which is running on 8082 but it transferred the traffic to the application running on 8081 okay so currently we can deploy application only on the port 8081 because if what i mentioned i have two replicas one replica running on 8081 which only transfer the traffic to 8081 i have a replica running on 8082 which transfer the traffic to the application running on 8081 so right now we can only deploy the application on port 8081 right so let's see like what i will do so we have already have a created a flex gateway you can see this flex gateway is in the connected state i can click on this particular flex gateway i can go to apis right then i will simply say add api okay so now you have three options flex gateway mule gateway and service mesh in this case we are going to select the flex gateway and it will list down all the flex gateway which is in connected and disconnected state but it will allow only to select the flex gateway which is in the connected state i can select this and simply say next right now i don't have any api definition for my api so i can simply say create new api and i can give some name like employee uh, flex api then i can select the type equals to http api then say next the next thing before it's getting started i can find the ip address of my server so it's uh, 172.19.32.1 so instead of localhost let me run my application with ip address okay i got the proper response so let's go back to my screen so here what we have to provide the implementation url so where is your implementation exists so in my case my implementation for employees apis is exist here so i can copy this path and I can simply go here and I just paste it. This is my implementation. The rest of the detail you can just ignore. Apart from that, like as I mentioned, we can only deploy the application on port 8081. I, I will keep schema as HTTP. It's also support HTTPS also for HTTP 8082 port, but we'll keep 8081. Next, just check everything. And if you find everything is good, just save and deploy. So let's wait uh, till this application is deploying. Now, instead of accessing my application uh, from port uh, 9000, my flex gateway is running on port 8081. So I can simply say I got the response from 8081 also, or I can use localhost also. Copy this command. Let me open the other command prompt. Just say enter. So you got the response from the flex gateway also. 
right so my flex gateway is running on port 8081 let me do one more experiment i can go to policies and let's apply the policy to the flex gateway i can apply some simple policies so where i can get compliance security i think yeah so basic authentication next i can give a username admin admin and just say apply i will copy this path and just close the browser i will open the browser again and just say it should prompt me for the username and password it is prompting me for the username and the password right now if it if i try to access the application directly using container right so my like 9000 port it will not prompt me for the username and the password because we have applied a policies on the flex gateway and the flex gateway first authenticate and redirect request to this particular container which is running on the 9000 correct so what we have done right now so simply we have add the api or we have published one simple employee api to the flex gateway now i will try to ex ex like expose or publish the other api which is running on 9002 okay so let me copy this url this is my implementation url just paste it let me copy the ip address i'll just change from localhost to ip address so what i will do i will go back to my flex gateway again runtime manager let me close the browser let me close everything okay so i will go back to my flex gateway i will select this flex gateway then i can say api is i will say add api so i will just like select the flex gateway and select the uh, like you know uh, replicas here then i will say next it same step i will say create new i will say order flex api then i will select http api i will say next then my order api is running on 9002 port i will just copy this url and instead of implementation uri i will provide this so this is where my implementation of order api exists and i will use same because it doesn't support right now multi other port so 8081 next save and deploy also i want to show you one thing like you know so let me do one thing uh, so basically as i mentioned like you know you can also access the application uh, from 8082 also just a minute it's not 8082 so okay something has been changed so i will going to show you yeah i got it okay so let's see what happen i will come back to that point okay i think i already applied it okay so let's again we try to browse a employee api so i think employee api will give us the error now it will say no listener and i can browse using 8081 also because why we can browse on 8081 and 8082 because we have two replicas so you can either run on 8081 or 8082 but it will always forward the traffic to the application running on 8081 so that's why we have to deploy the application on 8081 so right now the employee api is not reachable you can see that i can see employees it's not reachable let's see orders yeah orders is reachable you can see that so what happen like your two application cannot listen on the same port number right so basically there are two application cannot be listen on the same port number either one of the application can listen or one of the api can listen on this uh, like one port number basically right so now what to do so let me go back to my you know uh, flex gateway so we need to open a multiple port uh, while creating the replicas so for that i will go back to my flex gateway right runtime manager flex gateway right so what i will do 
I will remove this both replicas now. So this 8081 and 8082, I will remove this both replica. And I will try to create a new replicas basically with a range of port. So for that, let me go back to my flex gateway. Now flex gateway is in disconnected mode. I can go to Docker and just select this command like, you know, start the gateway. Copy this command and just say control V. I will bring everything into one line as usual and copy the command like, you know, so we have to part that absolute path, you know, we have to copy that. Let me go back. Yeah, this is the path. Copy that. So this registration.yaml file is very important. So just change this PWD path to, you know, absolute path. Now, now I want to give a range of port. So I will say 8081 to 8089. So I can at least deploy two nine application and here again 8089. So I'm giving the range of port so I can get the request on 8081. I can forward a request on 8081. When I get a request on 8082, I can forward the request on 8082 basically, right? So let's do that. Let me run this command. I will just close this, close this. Okay, so you should see your flex gateway must be in connected state. It will take some time. Yeah, you can see new replica has been created. So now this particular replica support the multiple inbound and the outbound port. So now what I can do, I can click here, I can go to APIs and for order API, what I can do, I can do the changes. I will keep my employee API in 8081 and I will keep the changes for my order API. I will just change the port to 8082. Just save and apply. Just wait for 30 seconds or 40 seconds. And let's apply the policy also to your order API. So basically I can go to security. I can apply basic authentication next. I can give the username and the password. Just apply. So let me open a close everything. So now I have a two API. One is employee API and one is uh, one is employee API which is running on 8081 and can forward the traffic to 8081. And I have orders API running on 8082 can forward the traffic to 8082. So if you see I have deployed uh, employee API on 8081. I have deployed the orders API on 8082. Now I can send the request on 8081 for the employee. So I can get the response from employee API for orders. I can send the request to 8082. So I can get the request for the, you know, order CPI. Let me open the Chrome. Let's see what happens now. Local host. I will just change 8081 slash API. No, this is wrong. It even if you say admin. Yeah, because we have our employees running on 8081. Yeah, you got a response, right? It haven't prompted me for the password because I already put it. So it cached the password. Now, if I try to access the orders from here, from 8081, it should not. Let me do 8082. It will prompt me for the password because for 8082, we are accessing for the first time. We got an order response. Let me expose one more API, uh, which is running on, I think, 9003. Let me check. Yeah, this is 9003. So what I can do, I can go back to my runtime manager. So what what you are what you have understand from here for like we have to deploy or we have to publish each and every API on the different port number. Okay, so let me go back to Flex Gateway. Let me go back to Flex Gateway and I will select API and I am still now I am adding a non MuleSwap API to the Flex Gateway. So this will show like we can manage a non MuleSwap API also with the Flex Gateway. So this is my flag. I will just go in and again select the Flex Gateway. Then I will just select, you know, a Mule Demo GW, then say next. Then I will say create new. I can say health flex node JS API. Okay. Then HTTP API. Next, I have to find the implementation URI. So let me find if I can do something like, you know, 
or better like you know I can just uh, take the IP address this is my IP address and implementation HTTP and which is my health API is running on 9003 that's it then go to advanced option you cannot deploy an ATA, my ATA, on 8081 employees API is running on 8082 my orders API is running I can give 8083 to this port just say next save and deploy it so what is the direct URL for your health API so you can go to HTTP localhost no it's 9003 direct API okay this is the direct API okay now I want to access via flex gateway so let me check whether I can do with 8082 no right because my health API is running on the flex gateway on 8083 so I got the response I can apply the policy also so I can go to policies add policies security basic authentication next I can say admin admin it doesn't take much time it will quickly applied so copy this URL I want to close the browser because it cares the credentials let me paste it the say now it is prompting for username and the password right so what we have seen so basically it's very easy to manage a API it can be written in any technology it can be located anywhere right and it is a technology agnostic next thing so here like uh, if you go to let, let's select one of your API so I will select just the employee API and here you can see some kind of key matrix basically so if you are setting our flex gateway in the connected mode you have got a benefits like you can see the total number of requests total policy violations total errors like those kind of thing you know and apart from that average response time so you can see those things apart from that you can also make use of your any point monitoring you can go to any point monitoring just select the environment select one of your api so i have already three apis which has been published to flex gateway i will select employee api just select the instance just say view so here you can see a lot of uh, like request by method you know request by response code then you can see request by response size so you can see a lot of things like you know failures overview everything you can see it here like you can see a lot of details about your APIs right so basically if you are setting up flex gateway in connected mode you can make use of or you can take the benefit of the out of box capability provided by the mule soft so I hope you like this video Right. If you like this video, please click and like and subscribe buttons. Thanks for watching. In next video, we are going to focus on more uh, other things on the Flex Gateway. Thank you.